Hello everyone, I'm Mehdi Hassan and this is the project Smart Office uh, of our varsity, United International University and our group group was second in position for the project. Uh, so I'm going to give you a demonstration of the project, how it works. Here's a Smart Office server, uh, here's a server and here's a cluster network from the cluster network. Uh, the connection come to the office and from the Wi-Fi device, it's a Wi-Fi device and from the Wi-Fi wireless device the every uh, IoT devices are connected with the server so the first feature let's see the first feature here's a uh, very best door lock if you want to open the door you have to put the original one if you put the fake one the door won't be opened you can can't open the door if you put the original one then the signal is green then you can open the door here's the green signal then you can open the door and close the door and there's also a solar panel when there's enough sunlight so we have to use the environment conditions environment variables if there's sunlight the battery will be charged and if the if the battery has enough power then the microcontroller will turn on the this fan and this lamp Al also there's leds there's three leds connected with the uh, solar battery so if there's enough power the battery will uh, the leds will be turned on automatically here's also a trip sensor to defend the thefts uh, from breaking the windows and come into the office if anyone comes into the office then the siren this siren will be turned on and uh, there's also a smart uh, canteen if, if someone goes in here's also a uh, motion motion detector on the door this is the door if someone goes into the canteen the fan and the coffee maker will be turned on automatically uh, so it's quite comfortable and uh, there's also a music player for entertainment uh, the range of the speaker is this this area uh, this is the entertainment room we suppose uh, uh, so if you press alter and left click so you can see the speaker works uh, this is also for entertainment and uh, the most critical or I, I would say crucial uh, feature of our project was this smart window uh, how this smart window works when there's when it's the daytime daytime means office time the smart window will be open and when it's night time the smart window will be closed there's also another condition if there is rain if there is rain the door will be closed whether it's night or it's day if there is no rain and it's daytime the window will be open so if i summarize it if there's rain the door will be closed if there's no rain the door will i mean the window sorry the window will be open also if there's daylight then the door uh, window will be open if there's sun no sunlight or no daylight the window will be closed so i uh, there's no sensor for rain detection in our cisco packet tracer so i made a custom built rain sensor this is the custom built rain sensor it's connected with the microcontroller when there's rain uh, the it will detect the rain and it will send information to the microcontroller and microcontroller will send those information to the server and the server will uh, take the uh, information and the server also connected with the street lamp the street lamp has the photo sensor the photo sensor will be detecting the if there's enough sunlight in the environment in the area then after combining them both the window will be opened or closed so you can see it's uh, uh, kind of critical so um, I, I will be giving the project in the link in the description so you can check it out also there's uh, street lamp I just said it has the photo sensor if there's enough sunlight the light will be off and if there's it's the night time the light will be turned on so you can see yourself the road clearly and there's also a uh, fire detector alarm uh, if you put it in front of the fire the siren goes on the sprinkler of water it also turned on if you put it back uh, the sprinkler is up but you have to turn off the siren manually and the last feature of our project is the smart garage uh, if you turn on the uh, car then the smoke will be detected so the so the garage will be opened 
uh, it takes bit of time to open uh, it's taking time so you can demonstrate yourself I won't demonstrate it I'm just saying um, uh, if you turn it on the door will be open so you can go out so at one time it will be very far so there there will be no smoke so the cars will be closed when you come back again your your car will be turned on so the gas the smoke detector will be detecting the smoke and the gas door will be open so you can go inside uh, uh, that's that's pretty much it uh, I don't think anything did I miss anything no I didn't miss anything so and uh, oh one more thing you can uh, see the uh, IoT devices connected or status or conditions I gave from these devices suppose the smart smartphone you go desktop and from here IoT monitor so see here's all the device are shown there are lots of devices I implemented on the project so you can see the devices and with their name the rain rain controller rain possibility zero that means uh, it's not raining street lamp uh, the condition of street lamp it and there's also a uh, battery uh, the available power is 94 percent you can see those from the uh, smartphone going to desktop from there to IoT device IoT monitor uh, there's also lots of condition I have added uh, these conditions are based on the environment conditions are lots of thing you have you can see through and you will understand yourself and there's the environment thing I used for the solar thing and also the smart window and for the uh, street lamp smart street lamp I use I didn't use the temperature I use the rain uh, rain and the sunlight the green one is for the rain and the red one is for the sunlight so that's pretty much it uh, hope you guys uh, understood the project and how it works so you'll be having a um, good idea about how you gonna make your project yourself thank you for watching best of luck